In this video, we're going to learn how to build a JDBC pipeline step by step. Let's get started. First, let's duplicate the first pipeline. If you do not have this pipeline created, you can follow the steps in the Build a Pipeline lesson. Now, let's replace the file destination with a JDBC producer destination. Let's also give it a name. Next, we need to configure this destination with the proper connection settings. As a best practice, it's always preferable to use a pre-built connection from the connections catalog. To build a connection, go to Setup, Connections, and create a connection. Give it a name and choose an authoring data collector. Choose the JDBC type. Let's also provide some meaningful tags. Next, click Save. Now, configure the connection with the JDBC connection string URL. Next, configure the credentials. Let's test the connection. Notice that there was an exception where no suitable driver was found. What this means is that the authoring data collector needs the correct JDBC driver, in addition to the JDBC stage library. Let's go ahead and add the driver by installing it on each of the data collectors. The driver will be an external resource library. Let's go ahead and upload it. Select the JDBC stage library type, browse file and upload. Once uploaded, the data collector engine needs to be restarted. Let's go ahead and do that. It may take a minute or two to complete. Let's repeat the driver install for the other data collector. Now, we're ready to go back to our connection and test it. We'll go back to the JDBC pipeline and use the new Zomato database connection. Configure the table name with the reviews table. In the preview configuration, let's save the preview schema to help us configure our expressions and processors quicker by providing autocomplete. Now, let's validate and preview the pipeline to see that it's working and inspect the schema. We will need to map the incoming fields from the Zomato data origin to the columns in the reviews table. Let's add a field renamer processor to start the mapping process. Let's enter mappings for the input fields with the output fields.
If there are many fields to map, you can optionally map them in bulk by switching to the Bulk Edit mode. After mapping the fields to columns, let's do a test run. In our case, we encountered some error records. This is because we explicitly renamed only the fields that had spaces in them. Let's fix that. We will use the field mapper processor and apply an expression to convert all of the fields coming out of the field renamer to be lowercase. The field mapper can operate on field paths, field names, or field values. Keep the default field values selected. Let's give the field mapper stage a name. Finally, let's validate and run a preview. And notice that the output field names are correctly mapped and are all lowercase. In this lesson, we created a pipeline that uses the JDBC producer destination. We also installed a JDBC driver and created a reusable connection. And now, it's your turn to create a JDBC pipeline in your environment or the Academy Lab environment.